What if I told you in just a few steps an attacker could completely take over someone's account? Today, I'll walk you through an account takeover vulnerability I found using a lab to demonstrate how these attacks works, but it is actually a real world scenario. This is exactly the kind of vulnerability hackers look for all the time. And by the end of this video, you'll understand how it happens and how to prevent it. And here is some big news. My course drops in just three days and it's not a one-time thing. Every single month, I'll be adding new content to help you sharpen your your skills. I'm also working on some custom tools to make your recon and exploitation easier. And if you're serious about security, you really don't want to miss this. So make sure to subscribe not to miss it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So in front of me right now, I have a lab and I'm going to tell you this actually is more common than you think. I found this vulnerability on plenty of websites and I've actually made some money off of it. And this issue, the best part about it is that it's always a P1 or a higher critical if you're on hacker one and it's P1 if you're on bug crowd. And it's quite easy actually to find and people tend to mess this up like big ass companies like a billion dollar companies tend to mess this up and it's quite easy to go wrong with this because they use frameworks and they don't know how to implement them well so let me just go over here and right now show you what you need to do to actually hack this website so you need to go over to your my account first things first and there is a forgot password thing now we need to go over to the exploit server first things first because we need to have i think access to uh here okay so this is the how it looks like it says craft the response Okay, so let's go back. Let's go over here to forgot password. Uh, we need to enter our username or email. Let's click, click, click our own email. And then please check your email for a reset link. Now, this lab did not provide us. Oh, there is the email client. So there it is. As you can see, hello, follow the link to reset your password. Okay, so this is how it works. And one of my favorite vulnerabilities is to always just look for password reset vulnerabilities. It's actually so good and so easy to find. Now, let me go back and let me open up this email client. Uh, actually, I'll open up here and then I'll open up the exploit server on a separate tab. I don't actually think I need the exploit server to be fair with you, uh, but I'll go with it just to make sure, you know, actually I might need it. So we need to here somehow mess something up. And what I do essentially is I go, I'll go back and let me turn on the foxy proxy to start proxying all of the traffic through burp let me send uh my username and as you can see it has been sent let's go back to the burp and as you can see there is a forgot password let's right click on it and then click move to the repeater i don't want to update just yet okay so here is how it all looks like we have a csrf token and we have a username which is equal into our username which we have supplied uh what this issue essentially is about is what i want to do right now is i just want to i always do this i just add a two to the domain of the host and i just hit send i add a two and i just hit send now let's go back now to over here to our exploit uh, client and as you can see we received now two emails and the top one as you can see has a two now that's interesting and this is how I accidentally found a vulnerability. So I was like, oh my God, I can actually insert stuff here. Oh, that's insane. Let me just put test.com and let's click send. And if I go back and hit refresh, you can see, oh, test.com actually. No way. That's insane. But how am I going to exploit this though? It actually needs to be exploited somehow. But how do I do that though? It's quite weird. Well, there is a neat way to do that. We have an exploit server right around here, which we can have this access log to see who has been accessing our server. So let's copy this up. Let's go back over here. Let me put instead of test.com, let me put this as the host. And let me just remove the HTTPS because it's not necessary. And this as well. And let me hit send. And now if we go back to our email client, let me just go over here to view the access log. And as you can see, this is all my access logs apart from now. If I hit refresh and click on this link, which I just received, as you can see, it says resource not found. But if we go back and hit refresh in the log, we can see we've got the token. So what we can do essentially is go back to the burp suit. And here, instead of winner, we put the Carlos or the guy who we want to hack or any other guy who is basically the victim and we click send and that's it we just now send this and if we hope if we just hope that the victim clicked on this as you can see it did click on it we can just copy this up 
entirety or we can just copy the token actually copy the token go back here and open up your valid password reset like just basically open it up and then replace this uh token with this token hit enter and as you can see we can all of a sudden put password let's put one two three four uh, let's click submit and as you can see if we now go back to my account and if we click click carlos and one two three four click log in we can see that we actually did solve the challenge because our victim clicked on the link. And I found this vulnerability plenty of times on plenty of websites. And it's quite easy to hack this, actually. It's quite easy to find, as you can see. It doesn't take too long. So I recommend you always test for these host injection thing, host injection vulnerabilities, because they could be very powerful. And in, in, not just in these account takeover cases, there's also CSRF cases, which I will cover but in the next video in which is going to be three days from this one i'm going to go over and how i hunt for account takeover vulnerabilities step by step from start to finish how i do it and as i've said in three days the course is officially coming out with a few video lessons and a one i think lesson which i've written down for you to kind of like unpack i have video lessons as well as uh, lessons which you can kind of read. You don't actually have to watch the videos if you can't. So I have all of that ready for three days and it will be officially dropping in three days. So make sure to stick around with that. Subscribe not to miss that because I will announce that in the video and I will give you a link to go ahead and purchase it or if you're lucky to win it for free. Actually, as I've said, it will be a monthly subscription and it won't be too much. It will be $3.99. If not, even I'll give you also some discounts and whatever but on top of that i will also give you some access to, to tools whichever tools i make which i have some tools and plan to make so yeah pretty cool make sure to stay ethical stay responsible and as always see you next time peace